Hi folks, and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. Today we are looking at this, the Bright Drop Zevo 600. Now we are here in Ingersoll, Ontario, where this new electric van is going to be built, and they just opened this factory. So come along with us, we're gonna go for a ride, and we're gonna tell you all about the van, and then we're gonna show you exactly how it's built right here. Before we go inside the plant, let's look at some of the history. So Cami opened back in 1989 as a joint venture between General Motors and Suzuki, and initially it built the Tracker. Now over the years, many vehicles have been built here, including the Suzuki Sidekick, the Geo Metro, the Suzuki Vitara. In 2004, Chevrolet began building the Equinox here and all its subsequent models like the Pontiac Torrent and the GMC Terrain. In 2009, Suzuki withdrew and GM took over full control of the plant. Now from then on, slowly but surely, production moved away from Cami until April 29, 2022, when production of the Equinox came to an end. Cami's future was looking bleak until January 12, 2021, when General Motors announced Bright Drop and then just three days later announced that Cami would be retooled to build the Zevo 600. Now the first batch of Zevo 600s was actually built in the Detroit area where the entire production process was established. Then all of that equipment was stripped out of there and shipped to Cami, where the very first Zevo 600 rolled off the line in December of 2022. Let's take a closer look now at this, the Zevo 600 all-electric delivery van. So Bright Drop says that it has a range of 250 miles, that's 402 kilometers, and a peak charge rate of up to 170 miles per hour thanks to 120 kilowatt DC fast charging. Power output comes in at 300 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, and this van is all-wheel drive. Now, it's called the Zevo 600 because it offers 600 cubic feet of storage space. The Zevo 600 also has a GBWR of less than 10,000 pounds and a maximum payload of 2,200 pounds. Standard safety features include front and rear park assist, automatic emergency braking, forward collision alert, follow distance indicator, front pedestrian braking, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, IntelliBeam automatic headlights, and HD rear vision camera. Looking up front, you'll find a 13.4 inch diagonal full color infotainment screen, but I think more important, you find those front sliding doors, which are ideal for city deliveries, and then a massive dash space, which can also be used to store things that you need to keep at hand. Getting back to the present, the other claim to fame now for Cami is that Zevo 600 production is the first full-scale EV production line to be set up in Canada, which is a pretty big deal as all automotive production seems to slowly be moving toward EVs. Now to mark this big day, both the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, and today, as Mark pointed out, in record time, we're opening the first full-scale commercial electric vehicle plant in Canada. And the Premier of the province of Ontario, Doug Ford. These investments in hybrids, electric vehicles, and EV batteries will create jobs now and in the future. They're putting us on the path to being a global auto manufacturing powerhouse once again, from the critical minerals needed to produce batteries in the north to our skilled auto workers in southern uh, Ontario and clean steel manufacturing in Hamilton at the FASCO and Algoma up in Sault Ste. Marie, powered by clean Ontario made energy. We're leveraging every part of the EV supply chains. We have everything we need to make the cars of the future in Ontario by Ontario workers from start to finish. We're both on hand for the opening. Now on the day that we toured Cami, production wasn't actually up and running, but they were able to show us a number of the processes that go into making these Bright Drop vans. So now let's take a quick look at how these vans are built. First, we'll start by showing you these. Now one of the workers called it the Godzilla robot. 
This is a 1700 kilogram capacity robot. Now what you see it doing there is lifting the individual walls that come together to make the body. So the robot arm grabs the wall, puts it in place, and then workers will fasten them together to create the body of this delivery van. Another first for this new production line is it's using these SeaGrid autonomous mobile robots to actually run production. Now there's gonna be 13 of them at the Cami plant. Each one of them can carry 10,000 pounds and they use cameras and LiDAR to navigate around the plant so they don't have to follow a preset route in the floor. Now, unlike other applications of these robots, where generally they just move things from a truck to a line, these Seagrid robots at Kami are actually part of the production process, and this is the first time that has been done. The next process they showed us is an important one, mating the Altium battery pack to the actual chassis. Now General Motors calls this the skateboard and with this you can actually see why. All of the structural components are right there in the floor along with the battery pack so it sits nice and flat and it also makes sure that the majority of the weight of this vehicle is down low helping to give it a lower center of gravity. Now the last section that we saw at the plant was quality control. You can see these robots checking every single joint to make sure everything's lined up and fastened properly. And then there's also a robot plus human process to make sure that the lights are aligned correctly and everything else in the front end looks proper. Well folks, we have come to the end of this video. It was very interesting to see how this Zevo 600 comes together. And just so you know, in the future, the Zevo 400, that's a slightly smaller version of this delivery van, will also be built at Cami. Now I think electric delivery vans are the future. They make a ton of sense because the route is pre-mapped. You know how far you're going, how much downtime you're gonna have. I think right now, today, this is a viable delivery van. And because of that, I can see these things becoming very popular. In fact, when we were at the plant, they announced the first big deal in Canada with DHL, another big delivery service. And so far, Bright Drop has announced deals with a ton of other big delivery services like FedEx. So don't be surprised to see one of these on the road around you real soon. Like I said, that's it for this one. Now please go below into the comments. Let me know what you think of Cami, the Bright Drop Plant, Zevo 600, whatever you want to say, we're always listening. And as always, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See ya.